what's going on people so i really wasn't planning on doing a video today because i've been banging out content lately and i just wanted to take a day off but then i came across this piece of news and yeah i can't stay silent on this man because another great ip has fallen into the very dark never-ending abyss that is pandering because if this is not pandering, then I don't know what is. So if you haven't heard, the new James Bond film that is going to be the next installment in the franchise will in fact feature James Bond, but he is going to be a sidekick to the female 007, which is his replacement. And not only the role will feature a woman, it's going to be a black woman, so yeah they're they're going for the twofer they are double pandering so when i looked at the article the first thing that came to mind was who the hell is this lady like i, I don't know who this is this lashana lynch i have never heard of her i have never seen her in any major films or any critically acclaimed films so i looked her up and yeah she has not played in anything to write home about so with that being said i don't understand what her qualifications are i maybe she was pretty good in her auditions i guess i don't know but my progressive meter is effectively broken so i honestly wouldn't be able to understand it even if i wanted to but we're gonna read this article off the new york post so it says, James Bond fans wanting 007 to be either black or female. Wait, hold on. So I've been around the block a few times, you know. I I've been around my fair share of women, probably hundreds of women by now at this point in my life. And I've never, ever heard a female come up in conversation, whether it's friendly, acquaintances, uh, dating. I've never heard any female say anything about being a fan of james bond films never not once so i that statement right there already has me not liking this journalist who is writing this because there's no female that gives a shit about james bond films because james bond has never been so mainstream like avengers movies to the point where women feel the need they want to appropriate it because like no no female likes james bond dude like come on that's like saying that there are people going around saying that they want a female shaft when you know damn well that's a lie like whatever let's just keep reading so it says james bond fans are in for a double treat with the movie spy about to be played by a black woman According to a report on Sunday, British actress Lashana Lynch, 31, will be introduced as the new 007 in what is being described as a popcorn dropping moment. I don't know what the hell that means, but it, in the franchise's 25th movie that is currently being filmed, according to the Mail on Sunday. But it is not a complete do over with her just taking James Bond's secret agent number after he retires from MI6. The report states, wait, I could just be tripping, but this sounds very familiar to the whole Batgirl situation with Ruby Rose and how she just comes in to Bruce Wayne's house and then magically finds the Batcave and then takes over his Batcave. Doesn't make anything. She doesn't even make her own suit. She just takes Batman's suit and then turns it into a suit for a woman. Whatever. I'm... I'm not even about to just whatever let's just stay focused here so it says but it is not a complete do-over oh squade I already read that <laughs> it says Bond himself will still be played by Daniel Craig and will still adhere to his old-fashioned macho characteristics an insider told the UK paper Bond of course is sexually attracted to the new female 007 and tries his usual seduction tricks but is baffled when they don't work on a brilliant young black woman who basically rolls her eyes at him and has no interest in jumping into his bed. Wow, so it could just be me, but from what I read, it 
obviously sounds like they're wasting no time in demeaning and belittling the male protagonist into just this old retired super spy horn dog that's just lusting over this new chick and that's not gonna work though because she's a brilliant black woman who just could care less about getting with james bond first of all this is how i know this is all complete bullshit that there are no female fans really of james bond because especially modern women because if you really think about it if you know anything about james bond films the character james bond is notoriously a womanizer man you know he gets he's he's banged a lot of prime ass throughout the decades man so to, to say that he would just lust so hard over this chick which i really just it's hard for me to believe that dude because james bond has gotten some some really fine piece of ass dude he, he's hit a lot of sexy chicks throughout the years of this character so with that being a fact it's not even a coincidence or a surprise that they decided to go with this direction of her being um resistible to his irresistible charm because let's be honest you know, james bond has been branded as the irresistible super spy guy that gets women out of their draws like you gotta you gotta appease to the feminist because oh my god the feminist would be just so angry james bond doesn't even fit in this era now that i think about it with just saying that he doesn't but let's keep reading so it says oh god i done lost my place wait hold on okay here we go so it says the insider called it a pivotal scene when Bond is called back from retirement and introduced to Lynch as the new 007. It's a popcorn dropping moment. There goes that again. Bond still Bond, but he's been replaced as 007 by this stunning woman. Okay, you guys are kind of using stunning a little loosely here because she, she's not that attractive. I'm just going to be totally honest. She really is not that attractive, but let's just keep reading. So... Londoner Lynch, who played the fighter pilot Maria Rambui in Captain Marvel. Oh, so she was in Captain Marvel? Oh, that's right. I didn't give a shit about Captain Marvel because Brie Larson doesn't give a fuck about men. So, yeah, I didn't watch that. Is hope to modernize the franchise. <laughs> criticized by many as being too dated and sexist there it is there it is oh my god so this is literally a pander film it's a pander film which we all knew from the freaking beginning it's dated and sexist oh. <laughs> god this is so funny it's horrible but it's funny man this is a bond for the modern era who will appeal to a younger generation, i.e. the feminist and the social justice warriors in progression. That's what they mean by that. While sticking true to what we all expect in a Bond film. No, no, you're not sticking true to anything that has to do with Bond, dude. Like, it's not 007 without James Bond doing James Bond shit. You know, like... I guarantee you this movie will be the total opposite of what a true Bond film is. I guarantee it. So there's this last quote here. And so it says, there are spectacular chase sequences and fights and Bond is still Bond. But he's having to learn to deal with the world of hashtag me too. No, what did it not really just put this in his article? Are you serious? So basically, this is the desecration and emasculation of the James Bond franchise and the James Bond character. Wow. I have no words. Words cannot express the type of fuckery that I just read. Yeah. Seriously, man, I'm going to be honest here. If you are a man, please do not waste a cent towards this film please do not support this film if you are a man don't spend your hard-earned money on this because all you're gonna do is feel bad for being a man you're gonna be feel bad for having a penis like i can only imagine what they have done to bond's character i i bet you that bond 
he's only useful to a certain extent i bet you that she is going to basically be 10 times better than bond that's how they're going to make her out to be and she is just going to go circles around bond while he's just fiddling with certain stuff that he can't even figure out even though he's fucking james bond i bet you i bet you she's going to be the james bond version of ray i bet you she's going to be the spy version of ray in star wars you know because ray with no type of fucking training or any type of well anything that deals with the force you know she just she just can wield the force you know she can just do it all with no no type of practice no nothing while everybody in the fucking lore has had to do years upon years of dedication and training to hone their skills but yeah ray just wakes she just wakes about a bed and she just she's just a super jedi i'm dead dude yeah i'm over this don't don't waste your money on this dude D please do not if you're a man you have any type of fucking respect for yourself do not do not watch this movie anyway guys that's it for this my head hurts i'm mad that i even made a video about this because this is just stupid another great ip falls well, if you like this content, hit that like button. Thank you for stopping by if you're new around here. Hit that subscribe button. That helped me out a lot. Uh, if you guys want to keep up with me between uploads, you can follow me on Twitter where I post memes, thoughts, and things like that. And I'm trolling a little bit. And if you want to find me somewhere else, Snapchat. Well, until next time, I am just, I'm, I'm out.